Let's see how the script works in it. There's a panel with quick selection above, broadly speaking. Well, let's say I need to select all these cards and I click eye object and it selects all samples by instance object. This way you can also clean the scene. There's some things which you don't need at all. When the script goes to every category, it scans the scene for selected parameters. And now we see what maps we have in this scene. Hi everyone, in this video I'll tell you about a script called Universal Select By, and you can download it on scriptspot.com. It's a super cool script that allows you quickly select some objects by different categories. Materials, modifiers, by similarity of objects, color of the mesh, different settings, layers, and so on and so forth. It's all covered in detail in this lesson. Download the script, it's free. You download the MS file and move it to the script's 3D Max folder. Then head over to 3D Max, open scripting, open script menu. Here it is. Select the entire text and drag it here to the toolbar. And let's run it in this scene. Let's see how the script works in it. There's a panel with quick selection above, broadly speaking. Well, let's say I need to select all these cards and I click eye object and it selects all samples by instance object and then by material. And then I click eye material that is instance material. I on the button means instance. Then by similar modifiers, not anymore, it doesn't select. Then by similar, here it selects by similarity of geometry. And I've got all these areas selected because they share similar geometry. Generally, it's a sort of algorithm. And this is the search category too. So next, by the color of the mesh, for example, now we're gonna select this. It will find many things now. 3D Max got stuck. And we can select it in this lower category. For example, we pick all scenes, objects, or only selected ones. And let's pick selected ones. And here we decide on what object type we'll search by. So what object it will be, a plane, geometry class, editable mesh, edit poly, corona camera. So let's select corona camera. So what else can I show as an example? We can select helpers. So they're selected now. I've got 91 helpers and we can select and delete most of it. This way you can also clean the scene. There's some things which you don't need at all. Go on to the materials category and here you can select the choices, multi-material, Corona material, V-Ray, all these things. I won't click select yet because we don't need it. I've got Corona material everywhere and that one makes sense. So let's try the Corona light. It found all the objects selected, Corona light with materials, and you can refresh the list. Maybe something new appeared and script will refresh it. But since there are many objects in, in the scene, it certainly slows down the work of various searches. So select hidden frozen and it selects both hidden and frozen objects. Maps category. When the script goes to every category, it scans the scene for selected parameters. And now we see what maps we have in this scene. And we have the following maps. And you can select by these map categories. For example, Corona bitmap. 
or forest. And it selects eight objects, which have a forest edge in the opacity slot. For example, mix, here are 117 objects that use textures with mixing. The modifiers category, a very interesting option, it allows selecting all modifiers in the scene. Now, there's so many of them. Let's select all objects with shell. Here it selected these areas, so let's try sweep. Here it selects curves, clone selects objects I clone. Next, layers category. Here we just select some layer and it selects all objects in it. Let's say tables and chairs. So there we go. And the properties category also, very interesting option. We can trace the next thing. If you tick renderable, the script selects the objects with this tick removed. And this way, you can check which objects are not being rendered. I have these support objects which draw marking on the asphalt selected, display as box. So box objects, I've got just one. Next is frozen. 23 fixed objects are selected now. The script is quite interesting and allows searching by various categories very quickly. And it saves time. For selection and search of some objects, which you need to work on the scene. And this allows saving about 20 to 30 minutes and sometimes up to an hour because there may be too many objects in the scene and you need to create a more effective work with this large number of objects. And that's why the script is perfect for it. So go ahead and download it and use it. And that's all for now. Thanks for your attention. See you in the next lesson.